Teledyne PDS. Cutter dredging. Teledyne PDS offers you all kind of strong cutter dredge features, such as an acquisition, a dredge control bar, to quickly select a design model, grid model, and work route. Different profile views, with a configurable up-down indicator. 2D plan views, or 3D views with a grid model, a dredge difference model, or a dredge tolerance model shown in the background. Production monitoring. A calibration tool to calibrate the ladder inclination. And all other standard PDS features, such as a grid model editor, a guidance editor, logging control, and so on. In this movie we will discuss the cutter dredge project configuration. The views used in a general cutter dredge project and the acquisition. And at last the ladder inclination calibration utility. Let's start to have a look into the cutter dredge project settings. We open the configuration. Be sure you run a cutter dredging application. Open the cutter dredge vessel configuration to manage the vessel settings. The vessel configuration comprises of the geometry page. PDS makes it easy. You can select a standard cutter shape from the drop down list. If you press this button, the dimensions can be adjusted. Alternatively, you can also select your own created shape. Leave the center of gravity offsets to zero. And enter the sea level with respect to the chosen vessel zero offset point. Define the device offsets. These are for a cutter dredge project in general. The ladder hinge. The spud carrier zero point. The motion sensor, if any. And the GPS antenna. In this project is the ladder hinge, chosen as the zero offset point. The offsets are measured with respect to this point. Press the Add button to add the device offsets. The Equipment page. In the Equipment page we have added and configured our devices. The devices are ordered in device groups. Select the device from the device group. And press the Add button to add it to the equipment list. Click on the device in the equipment list. And press the I.O. port button to configure the I.O. port to which the device is connected. Double click on the device to open the device properties. For the GPS, select the device offset as defined in the geometry page. Then double click on the reference point computation to open its properties. Set the height source to GPS height when using a GPS as a height source. But set to tide when using a tide station. For the dredge positioning system. It is important to set the ladder hinge device offset and the spud carrier offset as defined earlier in the geometry page. For the heading device, it is important to set the heading correction. For the motion sensor, set the roll and pitch correction values. The data sources page. In the data sources page, it is important when using GPS RTK to set the GPS positioning as the primary position source. Otherwise, select the dredge positioning system. Select a data source and press the up arrow to bring it on top of the list, and with this the primary data source. In this example, the GPS is the primary position data source, because in this project, we have GPS RTK. The guidance. Two important tabs. In the design model tab, you select your design model and set additional design settings. Here you also set your dredge tolerances, the under dredge and over dredge limits. 
in the Cutter Dredge tab. You select your work route and the swing limits of the cutter. Press the New button to create a new work route in the Guidance Editor. In the Tools page in the Cutter tab, you configure the cutter and ladder parameters. Enter the ladder length, the pipe diameter, and the cutter tilt. Select to use the cutter radius or to use a cutter shape defined by yourself. Select the shapes to visualize the ladder and the cutter head. If a standard shape is selected, the shape sizes itself to the entered ladder and cutter dimensions. The dredge logging settings page. Select the grid model and enable the grid model logging. You can also select the grid model in acquisition. Choose digging as the logging condition. Select the dredge positioning device as the data logging device. Select always as the digging logging condition and choose set tool Z value as the update mode. The grid model updates as soon the cutter head is below the grid model with the cutter head Z value. The logging page. Select in the logging page the logging formats. The PDS format is always logged. Select the interval logging format to use the interval logging. Interval logging is used to log data in a certain interval such as to log the cumulative production. For so far the cutter dredge specific project settings. Acquisition. Let's now start the acquisition. In this project is already an acquisition screen layout defined, with different views. There are different ways to add views, for example by right clicking in the title bar and selecting the Add Display menu item. From the Dredge Construction branch is the Dredge Control Bar. And the Dredge Flow Concentration Meter added from the Plan View branch. You can add the Dredge Construction Operation View. From the 3D view branch, the 3D view online dredge construction. From the profile branch, the real time design cutter. And the real time design view. From the interval logging branch, is the interval logging view added. In the dredge control bar, you can quickly select your active grid model from the drop down list. The grid model must be available in the project to be listed. You can select the design model type and if applicable the model file. As a design model you can use a grid model, 3D model, a tin model or a flat model. In this example we have chosen a flat design model and we set a level of minus 2 meter. From the work route drop down list we select the work route. In practice the spud carrier location is placed on the work route. The profile, real time design cutter view, shows the cutter head in a back view. For the up down indicator, every item that is available or calculated in PDS, can be selected. Click with the, right mouse button, in the up down indicator area. Open the, view and layer control, item. Double click on the up down indicator layer. Select Source Item. Select at the bottom the item that has to be displayed. You can also show the design difference. We select Design Difference from the data sources if you like to see the dredge tolerances as well. Then select as min max marker Dredge Tolerance. You can change the above, inside and below tolerance colors. The dredge tolerance is now shown. The profile real time design view. The profile view side can be changed from the view in layer control. To left, right, front or back. You can add more up down indicators. To the view, open the up down indicator layer control and click the plus sign to add more up down indicators.
in the profile views, is the grid model grey coloured. And the design model in a raster shown. The over and under dredge limits are shown in a red and green line. The dredge flow concentration meter. If a production sensor is used and the production device driver added to the equipment list, the dredge flow concentration meter view displays the velocity V and the density C of the dredge material through the tube of the ladder. Right click to open the view properties. In the view properties you can enable 1 or 2 meters to be displayed in the view. The cutter dredger and the models are shown in 3D in the 3D view online dredge construction and in 2D as a top view in the plan view dredge construction. Turn the follow vessel mode on. The cutter dredger will always stay in the view also when it moves. If you click on the grid model color mode button, you can select to show in the view the model type. Select Z average to show the grid model. Z differential to show the design difference model or select the dredge tolerance model. Click on the coverage settings button to select a different color table for the models. In the plan view you can turn on the interactive selection. The mouse cursor changes in an arrow. And if you double click on the color table, the color table generator opens. From where you can edit your color table. The color table bar can be turned on or off. From the view and layer control, you can add more layers to show information. V interval logging view. V interval logging view. Show the interval logging as specified in the project setup. You can edit the interval logging setup from the tools menu. Open the tool settings menu item. The interval logging page. And change the interval logging setup. Double click in the item to log field to select a data item. Turn the logging on to update the models in the views during the dredge activities. The logging indicator is green colored when the logging is turned on. Calibration From the Tools menu Tools Calibration Menu Item The Ladder Inclination Calibration Opens PDS offers you different calibration methods. Choose your applicable method. Enter the calibration value to calibrate. See the figure for the value to enter. In this example the distance between the ladder hinge and the sea level. And press the calibrate button. The angle offset is calculated and the ladder inclination is calibrated accordingly. PDS offers you a lot of documentation. See the cutter dredge manual for all details about the cutter dredge application. Cutter dredge, IntelliDyne PDS.